Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the brand new Call of Duty Warzone and Cold War Combat Pack Commandant here. Now, this one is going to be free for all PlayStation Plus members. Now, I do not know if you guys are going to get access to this one if you are not PS Plus, if you are just on PC or Xbox. They did in Modern Warfare release them a year later. But for everything in Cold War that I've seen so far, there has not been a disclaimer on a date that it will be released in the future for non-PS members. So I think this one is going to stay a PlayStation exclusive. As for all my item shop viewers, I'm going to try my best to get an item shop up for you guys today as well for this weekend. But I do not know if we're going to have enough time when it comes to my schedule. I just did a video on the Battle Doc Pack for the Call of Duty Endowment Program. Great program over there, so make sure you guys are checking that one out. But we're going to be hopping in to this combat pack right now so as i said this is going to be free for all ps plus members and i'm really interested in this from us right here if this has like an exclusive you know weapon inspect or something like that i'm gonna be very excited especially being free so i'll do a full blueprint review on this uh, i'll probably have it up by like 6 p.m today um, because I do have a little bit of time before um, I have to go do my stuff today. Probably round one. So like I said, that item shop is questionable. But let's check out the skin first. It's going to be a Garcia skin. If you guys are item shop viewers on my channel, you know me and Garcia kind of hit or miss. This one, though, this one looks pretty sick. Now, we are on the Warzone engine first. I am going to show everything on the Cold War engine as well. So make sure you stick around to the end if you're a Cold War player. You can purchase this on both games. Wow! This skin just got a whole lot beefier. I like it, man. Really cool Garcia skin. One of his better ones. Recently, the Garcia skins have been getting very, very good. The one recently where he has the cigars instead of shotgun shells and like a shell holder on his chest. That one's like one of my favorites. This one's very cool as well. I do like this. So we have authoritarian here. It is going to be an ultra. So I'm assuming it's going to have some sort of specific weapon inspect or something going on with it here. It only has four attachments on it. I'm loving this like snake skin design. It looks very, very good. You got the Ranger Barrel, Axle Arms, three times, Infiltrator Grip, and the Jungle Style Mag. Cosmetically, the only thing not getting any love is going to be your barrel. And um, honestly, I think it looks good. Kind of fits like the Cold war S theme. I like it. Going to be interested to see that weapon inspect. And maybe I'll go ahead and purchase this one after we take a look at everything on the Cold War engine. And we'll take it into a custom games and just see if it does have that inspect or not. We have Fallen Brush here. I actually like it, man. I didn't like it at first, but seeing how it's kind of like got metallic color, I like it. It has like that metallic tint, not really color. Obviously, it's just red inside the watch. Then you have that same camouflage on the band. That's pretty cool. Then we have a cigar box here. Can't really get a too great of look at it, but there you go. Rotate it a little bit for you. See the cigars in there. It's pretty cool. Then we have Homeland or Death. There you go. Calling card. Got our emblem, and then we got a double XP token. So one hour of regular double XP. So that's pretty cool. We're going to hop on over to the Cold War engine, check everything out once again. Obviously, Garcia and the FFAR are going to be uh, those Cold War-themed weapons. So maybe we can see a little bit more detail and stuff over on Cold War's engine. Let's head on over there. All right, we are on Cold War. We're going to take a look at it here on the Cold War engine. So loading up with Garcia once again. Let's see if it looks a lot different. Oh, it look, actually looks well. It looks a lot cleaner. Let me see here. It looks a lot cleaner and more detailed, but it just doesn't look as beefy. Like, it doesn't look as tanky. Like, the vest kind of looks normal size. I mean, look at the, the armband he's got on. Like, the bandana around his arm. I don't even think that had, like, any detail over on Warzone. So definitely looks a lot better, a lot sharper, a lot cleaner over here on Cold War's engine. But um, it honestly kind of looked more intimidating over on Warzone. So take that as you will. And apparently, this is not an Ultra. This is just a purple. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But um, has Ranger Barrel, Infiltrator, Jungle Style, and Axle Arms, all the same stuff. Not sure what's up with that, if I gotta be honest with you. Um, maybe do some experimenting in Warzone or, or something, but looks basically the same. Maybe a little bit cleaner over here as well, but 
not an ultra so not gonna have anything when it comes to you know inspect or anything over here not sure what's going on with that oh wow the watch looks incredible that looks very nice Wrapping it up with the cigar box. I'll get you guys out of here. Still going to do a gameplay on the authoritarian. Don't you worry. FFAR. We're going to get it done. Uh, cigar box looking better over here on Cold War. 100%. Looking a lot bigger. A lot more detail. You can see the cigars. They're not, you know, hidden away. So, that one's cool, man. Um, I definitely don't know what's going on with the FFAR. I was actually really looking forward to that being an ultra. It's kind of a letdown, to be honest. But uh, we'll still do our blueprint review on it and everything else like that. So, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe if you're new, sponsors and equipment description below. That's all I got today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.